to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Branson James Branson we Richard all, Branson We all know you want Branson's life It's not his life It's the freedom right. of his life that, that he enjoys Sure that, that he's been afforded to enjoy And he's, he's earned it Like I'm right. not taking any of that away from him Because I'm, I'm in the camp of you work hard You should be able to do whatever you want Right after a certain amount of time yeah. However, that doesn't happen for a lot of people. So therefore, you're resigned to whatever shitstorm or whatever, you know, your fuck all your life is. But for some people, it does work. Branson, it worked for. Big Dick Branson. I'm talking about Richard Branson. Uh, Virgin. Virgin Mobile. Sure. Virgin Atlantic. Sure. The spaceship man. He's the new rocket man. Mm-hmm. Him and Bezos want to go to fucking space. And... Branson is going to do it. So he's been building this thing in, in uh, what, 10 years now? And Las Cruces cost the taxpayers millions. Like, oh, man, we're going to space. We're going to space, brother. That was 2011. It's 2019. It's been a, it's been a moment, but it looks like this bitch is finally re- ready to, to set sail okay. into the uh, hemisphere, and he's going to do it. There's a new report out. That all indicators that he's going to get on this fucking spaceship and do it. Now, Elon Musk launched a Tesla into space, but he didn't even get inside the car. He put, what, a fake dude in it, you know? What about the guy? What about the guy? guy? What happened to the guy? And if you were listening to that episode, that was the one where Jables was convinced there was somebody driving the Tesla No, I was confused when I first saw the picture. Sure. You were like... The Tesla's out in space, and I was like, but what about the guy in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he is. What's he going to be nah, up to? <laughs> not, a real, not a real human. Didn't go to space, but, but big, sure. big Dick Branson sure. is. Sure, yep. Richard Branson's a real human who's, who's going into space, and if he does that, that's the most baller shit of all time. If he dies, he goes out as a fucking legend. Obviously. Right? If, if he lives... And he's an even bigger legend. It's a win-win for him across the board. The only way he could personally lose would, would be himself, obviously, because then he doesn't get to be Richard Branson anymore if he fucking dies. Yeah, yeah. But if he lives, he becomes even better than he was. And that's virtually impossible. Sure. We've talked about Big Dick Branson on the show before. I mean, uh, Google topless kite surfing with Richard Branson you're going to find a supermodel who's topless and they're just kite surfing in the middle of the ocean. They're not near a, near a shore. They're not in a lake. Yeah, they just got dropped, towed in. In the middle, yeah, towed in in the middle of the fucking ocean. There's no one out there except for Big Dick Branson sure. and a fucking dime piece on his back who's topless. And both of them are laughing like it's the end of the world. I mean, it's, it's the, you want to see the two happiest people of all time that you'll ever see in your entire life? It's whoever that chick is and Big Dick Branson out in the middle of the ocean. Now, do we know that he has a big dick? We don't. I'm just, okay. I'm assuming. No, I'm just wondering and, and if there's any reports. I'll, I'll be real here with you because um, you know my motto in this life. A lot of people do. I should probably get a tattoo to myself. Uh, big dick, big dreams. Right. Big dicks, big dreams has always been my motto. Mm-hmm. Why? Because if you have a big dick in this life, chances are your dreams already came true. If you don't, let's say he's got a tiny penis. Maybe yeah. that's why he works this hard and he's going to space so he can overcome it and be like, dude, I don't, I don't even care how small his dick is. Right. It's, it's Richard Branson. He went to space. He's fucking kite surfing in the middle of, of the Atlantic. I mean, I, look, I'm not saying everybody should follow this, this advice at home, <laughs> but you should probably follow this advice at home. If you got a really small penis in this world, right? Work super hard, like Richard Branson. You can overcome it. You True. can over. Oh, you can overcome a small penis. True. Maybe that's why Asians work so hard. Oh yeah. You know, 
Those motherfuckers are buying up everything in America. Yeah. China owns America. Maybe, just maybe, if you really stop to think about it, it's because they have really small penises. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Mm. And now they own everything in America. Mm -hmm. They own half of our movie studios. Right. All of New York City. If you want to go to New York City and go to a high rise, just walk in and see yeah. how many people in a lobby. Empty. You know why? Each one of them is owned by a Chinese LLC. And you're like, where the fuck do I live here? And it's like, oh, man, don't worry about it. That's Mr. Hong. Yeah. We've, been, we've never even met him. We met his broker. Right. He came in and bought this shit. But we've never actually he's met Mr. Probably, Hong. Yeah, he's probably never even seen the place. Nope. Not once. I bet you he didn't go on Zillow because it's probably blocked over in China. Any form of happiness of what this might be, that motherfucker knew he just had to get rid of the money. And I bet he didn't even see the place. He didn't even get to go on, on Zillow at all and see it. Like not one pick. They were just like, hey, man, it's going for, for 4.8. I think we can get it for 4.795 in cash. Just why don't you click that on over LLC wise. Yeah. And it's yours. Sure. And you got a place to stash your cash and then you're never living there again. You know? Yeah. It's sad. It's sad that that's happening to New York, right? Because, it, it you is. know, Look, our thing is we want to do the second half there. But it's like at this point, is that ever going to be possible? It, maybe. And, I, and the reason why I, I also bring that up is China's cracking down on this right now. And they're checking where the investments go because they're tired of their own people investing in American shit to get rid of their money. And they want them to invest over there. So like New York uh, realtors are saying, oh, we're having a problem. We're not bringing in the Chinese like we used to mm -hmm. because the, the, the government's cracking down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So maybe. So maybe there's a chance. But if that happens, I, I, I mean, you don't have to be a doctor or scientist to figure out what's going to go on then. Mm -hmm. Housing market's going to crash. Yeah. And then you're going to be involved in some 08 shit where you're just like, all right, cool, man. You drove up the prices as high as they could possibly go. Then what? Then to sell them, to try to get rid of this shit, I mean, it's going to be fucking bombs away. So is that good for us or bad for us? It would be good. When we're ready for the second half Yeah, to it, start. it'd be good if the timing's right. If right. not, you're fucking snowed. But what? You know? Damn. Where's another place? Flagstaff. Oof. Flagstaff is pretty. You know they went through that their own real estate boom as well. And then they, yeah. got, they got nuked. Yeah. yeah. So did Vegas. Yes. Uh, L.A. for a little bit. There was like a two-year stretch in L.A. where it was just like, oh, hey, let's look at the, the 1,200 square foot for, yeah. for two and a half instead of five million. But that came and went. New York's a different beast, though, man, because, it, it, again, having been there so many times and seeing how empty all of these buildings truly are, I don't know what would really happen. There's also like a certain amount of places and land right yeah so it's not something that's like gonna keep building building like they at this point kind of have every square inch <laughs> built up i mean at the yeah. at this point where do you go into the park and or start you, building build, you build another there? battery park you know battery park is just it's simply dirt yeah left over from real estate that they put in, yeah. in under the river and then built on top of that mm -hmm. so i don't know i don't know what you do but uh if you want a shot at it maybe Maybe it'll come back. Okay. Maybe fucking, even if there is a, a crash, maybe Big Dick Branson will save us all. And what? Build something in space? I feel like he's the, yeah. I, space, or he'll just come in and buy the New York real estate and then just turn yeah, it into yeah. like one big virgin hotel type sitch where there's right. purple lighting and everything's rad. To this day, best planes I've ever been on with those sure. virgin fl flights. It got to a point where I would only fly, because I had to fly back and forth from LA to New York a lot. I would only look for those virgin flights. And if I didn't get one, I was genuinely pissed off about it. Where right. I was just like, fuck, this trip's going to suck. I'm not going to have club music blaring and mm -hmm. then purple strobe lights as soon as I come on the plane. Yeah. And happy ass stewardesses. You know why the fucking stewardesses were so happy on those goddamn flights? Because they didn't have to work. They had these little screens on the oh, back. Yeah, so yeah, if you yeah. wanted a drink, boom, swipe your card, press the button. And then it was giggles two minutes later. <laughs> Here's your drink, sir. And you were like, fuck. 
And I would literally, because I had to go with Brandon a lot and then uh, with Clayne a lot back and forth in New York. And I'd be like, God damn it, man. Branson. Branson, brother. Who else can build Wait, this shit he, with Branson? Is he the mobile as well? Yeah, it did it all. The mobile didn't do too well, huh? It didn't do well, but it's hard. Sure. Um, there, there's a, uh, I don't want to, I'm not going to throw this sponsor under the bus. We don't, we, we vet our sponsors. Because we're not just selling you anything just to sell the shit to you. No. Because um, it comes back on us it if does. you guys use it and you don't like it. But, and there was yeah. one time when we sold something and I, I wasn't I wasn't sure how confident I was in it. And uh, people came back and they were like, I fucking hate this. And so we got rid of it. And I was like, I'm not going to do that again. There was a mobile company that hit us up numerous times over the last four or five months. Right? Okay. And they were like, look, we want you to switch. When you're doing the show, we're going to give it to all you, your employees and all this other shit. And I looked it up and, you know, it was like 40 bucks a month for this mobile plan. And I was like, yeah, boy, how good can this be? Right. So I, I went, I went to the user reviews and all that shit. And people were like, dude, you have to basically stand on top of your car be in the at rain, the tower. Yeah, at eleven fifty eight in the morning to get a a, Got it. a call through to to, to GMA, you know, and the hospital. And I was like, mm. oh fuck, I can't do that. Right. So building a mobile thing is really hard because you've got to have all those cell towers, hotspots, all that shit, and then enough people to do it. It's essentially why there's what three companies. Yeah, and then you're going against just like with everything. Yeah. These huge established companies. Like like AT and T, Verizon. T-Mobile, like, Why would you ever try? Like, I will say this, just speaking honestly here, at and is probably the best, but they're fucking assholes. Coverage-wise? Coverage-wise. Okay. But their customer service are dicks. Um, you know, you turn into, let me talk to the manager. It's real Amy Klobuchar, you know? Let me, let me talk to your manager. You turn into that. You're into these weird contracts that somehow extend beyond your life and into your children's sure. where it's like, oh no. You can't escape that. We saw that AT&T you had a newborn. Bill. Mm-hmm. Guess what? He's getting AT&T. Yeah. Uh, and then when they bought DirecTV, because I used to have DirecTV for years because of the, the NFL package, right? Um, trying to deal with them on the phone then with DirecTV, those contracts or whatever, it was, I mean, you're Googling how many different ways to slit your wrist. And every, every time it just said go down. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I kept going back to Google for the same answer. That's how much I hated AT&T on a daily basis. Then you got Verizon, right? Which I have now. So I hated AT&T and I hated DirecTV and I wanted to get out of that shit. Yeah. And uh, I switched to Verizon. Verizon works unless you're going to a big event. So the problem is for the sports show, for Drinking Bro Sports, go to a lot of big events. Mm-hmm. I can't get a hold of anybody. I mean, it's, it's like 28 days later up in that motherfucker. Right. If you go to a, you know, at, this, at the uh, college football game, Super Bowl, wherever you're going, good luck. It's, you're holding it up. I, I, I can't. Do you have Wi-Fi? You turn into like a deaf guy to other people, and it's like, I don't know why I, I'm losing my hearing just because I don't have Wi-Fi on my phone or I can't make a phone call here. Sure. But that's how I talk to people. Do, do, you, do you have Wi-Fi? I can't get a, a fucking... A, a, a thing you know all you want to do is pop up one 10 second story on sure. ig of you know you in the front row yeah <laughs> you in the front row or you know some chubby marching band dude where you're right. just like oh look at that guy in the fucking tuba and you can't do He's it tube it out can't and you can't that blast thing. that out can't can't do anything to on your that goddamn people. phone no Nothing. Instead, you get a bunch of delayed stories, and that's what happened at the Super Bowl. It was like, yo, why are you posting shit like two days later? Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> did it finally go through? Cool. Can, I am Brandon. Uh, and I just, and again, man, I start talking to him like I'm deaf. Yeah. Right. I'm, I don't know why. I'm, I'm super sorry. I'm, really embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, hey, bro, we get it. You were at the Super okay, Bowl. Okay, cool. And I was like, no, man. It was live, and it was two days ago, and the shit was rad. And no, it's not right. rad anymore. Right. So I think that's why the big dicker, old uh, Branson, probably got out of that whole sitch where he, he just realized, fuck, man, do I really want to deal with all these pissed no. off assholes? Because you need a cell phone everywhere you go, right? You don't need a kite surfing so losing apparatus. Battle. Yeah. So that, that's probably why he probably looked at it and was just like, dude, I'm tired of getting the messages of like, I can't hear you or see you or whatever it is. And he, he probably sure. got out of that. The plain thing, I don't know why he got out of that. I, got, I can't figure that one out. I want, I mean, 
you got so much, right? Yeah, for so little. For so little that it just could not have been lucrative for him, no? I, I reached out to him. Like, I reached out to him and I just said, hey, I'll link Twitter. And I just said, hey, man, I'll pay more. Please don't take this away from me. And he said. He didn't answer me. Sure. Um, but he's probably busy kite surfing. Right. With a dime piece in the middle of the ocean on a Tuesday. Because sure. he can. So I reached out to Homeboy and I was just like, look, man, don't get rid of these planes. And it was a, like, that's the most serious, genuine post I've probably ever made on social media. Where I was just like, please don't take this please, away from me. Please don't. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take this away from me. Right. Like I've got enough hard shit going on in my life. Right. Do I don't need this. This fucking plane away from me. Please. It's all I have. Unanswered. Unanswered. Right. Planes are gone. Uh, I heard they rebooted them. Like sold them to other, you know, Delta or American or whatever it is. And uh, they think, took out those lights and they took out everything. They took made out all it the fun. dumb again, yeah. made it just lifeless and, you know, shrunk the seats again. And, Robotic. Uh, yeah, man. You know, I was, what was I on? Uh, Delta. I probably, Delta was the, is probably the best now. And it's just like, even then, you know, you're still paying for internet and that whole mm -hmm. shit doesn't work. And, it is what it is. Sure. I'd probably go Delta and then American, forget about it. I don't even know if, they like, if they've ever seen a TV because they don't have one goddamn TV in, in any American airline flight ever. I know. And I have a, a, a million of those miles. I'm like, oh, you get miles. It's like a car, you can get miles. Use mm, miles, it'd be great. Right. The fucking miles, if you want to cash those in, you've got to fly on like July 31st or the 32nd, which is in a day, yeah. at like 9 p.m., two stops, and you're going to go through Utah. doesn't matter if you're just going from Florida to you you know, know, New mom, York. you got to go through Utah. My mom, we always joke that she has these like crazy flights of like just weird times, 20 airports, going to Arizona, then back to whatever. It's because she uses miles. Ah. And you're just like... And they now it all makes sense. Send you all over yeah. the freaking country before they get you. Yeah, because you're on. You're basically on like standby everywhere. Everywhere. And everywhere they just you kind go. of like slowly somehow zigzag you to your destination. And but you, you know, traveling's a privilege for any, anyone. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I felt real privileged to go to San Antonio. Um, <laughs> did I talk about that? Um, My no. My trip to San Antonio. I finally saw the Alamo. Oh yeah. Yeah. What'd yeah. you think? It's real small. Did you go in the basement? No, everybody asked that too. Every single person has asked me really? if, if I went to the basement of it. No, dead serious. And I was just like, no, man, I didn't even go inside. There's no basement. Oh, there is no basement. Well, it's a Pee Wee Herman thing. I don't know why so many people were asking everybody that. Loves but... Everybody loves the, the movie. <laughs> they, okay. they said, I got a lot of that. And did you find Pee Wee's bike? Oh, geez. Yeah. I got, I'm like flooded wow. with that. Because I posted a picture outside the Alamo. And I was right. just like, all right, cool. Um, it was one of those things where I airbnb to a place. Because it was on the last night when I was doing an interview after you know, recording the audiobook. Well, yeah. And so uh, Airbnb is now suggesting hotels, which is new to me. And I was like, oh, all right, well, that's cool. But I can just go oh. to Orbitz or some shit like that. Uh, so do they have anything to do with it or do they just suggest them to you? I, I think they get a cut. Okay. Um, one of them was Solon or Solando or whatever. And, and either way, we've, we used, we used that Solando thing last time. Okay. And it was nice. So I was like, all right, cool, man. If you're popping up suggestions, let's get wet. Let's get fucking wet. Sure. So there was this place called the Crockett, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh man, that sounds like a hip. Dave, trendy as in Davy, yeah, D Davy Crockett, Davy Crockett, yeah, sure, yeah. I, I found out it actually was. Oh, okay. It was a hotel directly overlooking the Alamo. So I, I walked out, and it was a hotel, and I was like, "Ah, oh, shit, this is weird." So I walked outside of the Crockett, mm -hmm. which had like a four point one stars, and it was amazing. Well, it wasn't that amazing. I can tell you that. Sure, I'm not going to shit on it because I respect Davy Crockett and everything he's done for this country. Right, um, but. It was next door to the Alamo. And if you're a tourist and you're looking for, hey, man, I want to walk outside the front door and then in 20 yards, I want to be inside the Alamo. That's the place to do it. Wow. At the Crockett. That's not ever anything I would want to do. Tell the people why you had to get an Airbnb and why you couldn't stay 
at Jared's after your interview oh, that's with right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh so what if, you interview? Listen, if you listen to Drinking Bros podcast today, I highly recommend it. Or yesterday it would be yesterday since we're recording. And this I don't for, normally say this, but it was really good. It was great. Um my best friend married a real life porn star. They know Jared. I know. Yeah, okay. But in case you don't. Oh. Um there look, we fifty percent of the listeners listen to Drinking Bros, fifty percent don't. Oh, okay. Jared from Jared from Drinking Bros. Yes. My best friend, uh, one of my, my co hosts, uh, married a real life adult film star. Sure. And not only did we talk about oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tread lightly here. Her history and pornography. Right, with him sitting right next there. to her we, we, did, we all did the interview together but then we got into Gosh, names i was so confused because i yeah. was like you know i know a few male porn stars where i was just like hey did you ever get you know slammed out by uh james dean right mm -hmm. he's probably the most famous dude male porn star right now mm -hmm. and she was like oh yeah, yeah yeah i totally did and i was like man that guy's got a fucking hammer on him doesn't he and she was like oh you're telling me yeah and i'm like whoa we're all together yeah doing talking with one another. Yeah, and like she like, was like, it's great. Yeah. Um, and then Evan Stone was another one. And mm -hmm. I was just like, shit. Uh, that one I've heard of. Yeah, yeah. And then they watch, they've watched porn together. That All she's of, in? Correct. Okay. All of the porn she's done, they watch together. And then, uh, and that's kind of one of their things. And that's a nice thing. My favorite thing, and I'll just tease one more thing about it. Um, my favorite part was when they were talking about the trip that they're going to take. And to different countries. To bank prostitutes. They're going to separate. Yep. I guess I may, maybe shouldn't give it away. They're going to separate. They're going to bang prostitutes. Then they're going to. Compare. Compare and then possibly use the best one together. Correct. As and, a couple. And, and then also post it like a Yelp thing. So if you go to that country. Oh, now that Like awesome. Costa Rica. Correct. Okay. So okay. if you go to Costa Rica, Right. And you, you want to bang a prostitute and you want to find out where the best prostitutes are. Sure. This will be your go-to guide of like, oh, well, shit. I can go to. That's great. Who, who are they? Or That's whatever city is in Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay. That so was, that was my, my takeaway from it. I wasn't amped on the whole thing until the, the Yelp part. Because then I was like, all right, well, they are helping people. Right. So. That's a nice thing, you know, because yeah. there's nothing worse than going on a vacation than wasting good money on a terrible prostitute. Yeah. So at least that's kind of mm -hmm. tipping the scales back over to the good guys again. But uh, yeah, it's uh, one of the craziest interviews I've ever done. And I loved, I loved anyway, all of it. Miss that guy. Hope he comes. I mean, he will. He'll come. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he was talking about possibly coming to, you know, staying at the beach house and doing more shows and stuff. And I guess she's cool. So come on down, guys. She's cool. Come she's on friend, down. She's friends I'm with cool. the ex-wife. And uh, it's great with kids, all of it. Right. So right. That's, Better than the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, you know, you, you do a lot of things in this world. Right. Um, to try to make yourself a better person. Sometimes mm -hmm. people take that away from you. And I feel like Jared... People were trying to change him. Mm -hmm. Now he can finally be in his real self and it's magic. And isn't that beautiful? It's magic. That's what the it world's really all about. It really is beautiful. You know what else is beautiful? Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. We do have some sponsors who pay for the whole. We get to just chat in a way and then boom, forget about the sponsors who pay for this, this whole fuckery to be on the air. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is the best. We just ordered three of these things. They came in three days. If that. I know. Wasn't it like two? Yeah, three I days. It might have been. And okay. I was just like, holy it's shit. It's really fast. Yes. And they say that it's scary, scary fast delivery, yeah, 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 yeah. something like this. Yeah, and it, it really is. It, it, like, no shit. And I was like, all right, cool, man. Um, uh, in the new office, we got a bunch of bunk beds and whatnot. So we put some uh, mattresses up there. and Because uh, we're starting a cult, possibly. Just a little Jonestown type of thing here. But yeah. Yeah, nice. We lot. just want to have some nice numbered uh, numbered yep. bunks yep. for them. And then that way, you go by cleanliness of like, all right, sweet. You're in bed three. Right. Like the dirtier one goes in the third bed. Mm -hmm. 
That way you can keep it kind of pig penish. More like Heaven's Gate, but yeah. Yeah. Just keep it dirty as shit and just be like, all right, you go lay there. Uh, various, what? What? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Was that too much yeah. for you? Who was the, there was a recently a mattress company that said they wouldn't give mattress, they wouldn't sell mattresses to the border because uh, immigration children, Wayfair, that's who it was. Wayfair. They wouldn't? Yeah. They were like, or there was a boycott against them or whatever, like, don't sell mattresses because they're going to the board. Fuck you, dude. Uh, they, those people need a place to sleep. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Ghost Bed will step in and give them some mattresses. For the border? Huh? It's a For nice people sleep. trying to cross the border? It's a nice sleep. Um, I don't there. know. I don't know, Ghost Bed. They're probably not. They're probably not. They're not going to do that. But, not, you they're know, but listen. They're doing it for Americans. Yeah. Good old-fashioned, hardworking Americans, in particular, those who served in the military or are uh, first responders. 15% off forever at the bottom of the page. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Scroll to the bottom. You get 15% off of everything there, like pillows, mattresses, all that shit. It's a gigantic savings. Uh, if you're a regular human like myself, there's a 4th of July blowout sale. <laughs> blowout sale. Um, just rip a load off. Blowout sale. Blown oh, out. Yeah. A blown out. A blown out sale. <laughs> A blown out rectum sale. <laughs> uh, they've got a wheel too that you can spin to get free shit. And they got a free comforter. It's the best, man. 36 months uh, pay as you go. No interest. I don't know how they're making money, but God bless them. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and get a mattress. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. Shabloinkers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, strike force it's that time fourth of july is upon us man i'm getting ready to rage getting ready to to rage pour a little bit of this in the vodka go all day that's the only thing that can go, besides coke like if you're out there saying oh man how do i how do i keep going drinking all day <laughs> cocaine or strike force you choose if you're going for the least expensive option these guys will do it for you right here i'd be careful with that all day drinking you have a kids not me. Kids party. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, other yeah, people. Yeah, not me. I look. Even at the kids parties, let's face it. They do the they do the kids parties. Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Not all, all the day. adults are drinking yes, this shit. Yes, I, everybody's yes. fine. Like you know, you're right. able to go all day. Right. But uh, if you're single at the beach, really ripping through it, um, and just hoping, praying to catch wood later. Uh, Strike Force is probably your best bet. To Four amazing flavors: grape, lemon, catch orange. Catch wood. Catch wood. Yeah. Is that a, what does that mean? Boner. Catch a, catch is a that solid a wood. Is that a thing that people say or you just? That's right off the cuff. Wow. Yep, you can take that with you or you can give it right back. I kind of like it. Yeah. So if you're, if you're looking to catch wood late in the day after a long day of drinking, Strike Force is your only option. No carbs or no sugars. So you can do it in a slimming fashion. That way you, you can have a mirror and stare at your own self. Um, you don't even have to look at the girl you're fucking, you know? Just admire your own handiwork because those don't do anything. They, oh, they don't. They don't no, do it. it's, just, <laughs> it's just this side thing. You know, Whatever happens on the show is on the show, guys. So it's just on, on the YouTube side because I can't keep this, <laughs> it's this on microphone the side, on. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't. It's just, I, just that as one. I'm saying, catch wood. The microphone just uh, goes limp. Goes limp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There so, you go. There Got it? it? Uh, I, uh, who I knows? Who knows? I, Whatever happens on the show happens on the show, guys. I've pulled this that is real. Out before. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. all real. All of it real. 100%. This is not shipped out to Europe or China. This is 100% real. What's going on here? Go to strikeforceenergy.com and uh, get a 10 pack, 20 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, get it by the thousands. Do, do whatever you want. Uh, Strike Force Energy. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. And that's good every time all the way around the world. Uh, Chad, you can even get it shipped to Chad. Last but not least, this is what you came for. Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you're right! Oh, boy. You can only get that voice here on the show. You might not be able to get it in New York real estate anymore. Um, so I'm proud of you for that. Uh, also, this is probably going to get flagged, and this whole show is going to go down someday. But uh, This is going to get flagged? I'm sure. Do you like it? I'm sure it's been it going will. on for so long. I know, but it's, it's one of those they things. They like it, I think, over there. I think so. 
think they like it and they get it. And I think that, you and know, they rub it. They rub it, but like, you know, Asian racism again against Asians is just It's not a thing, right? Everyone has it. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's not true. <laughs> That is simply not true. They're the ones that we can all kind of be like, mm. <laughs> I don't see too great. much racism in America except against Asia. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even see that either. <laughs> um, <laughs> Joking. Straightrazors.com is, uh, well, oh, they're well. the ones that are making me so baby fresh and smooth. There's, there's no way I should look like this. Right. But I do every day. And that's because of straightrazors.com. They get everything. Beard oil, shampoos. Mustache waxes, conditioners, you name it. Everything you need in this life to be a real man, they fucking have it. Go to straightrazors.com right now. Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. That's a big savings there. Uh, we're going to start off this, this top of the show here with, um, or the bottom half of the show, wherever we are. Mm-hmm. Uh, snake brand, Prickly Heat. I'm going to give a shout out to, uh, it's the Abends, dude. It's Rick Abends. Oh, of course. Uh, hey, Ross, try this shit out. Discovered this while in the Philippines on my first Marine Corps deployment in 89. I like it better than Gold Bond. Hashtag hope you like it. Uh, the events, right? Okay. I did, uh, we did a show called The Gold Bond Experience. I don't know what number it was. Weird mood that day. Sure. Uh, unlike any other day. But I went off on a 15 minute rant about how much I loved Gold Bond and how it saves lives and uh, keeps your balls taint, asshole. And your first Gold Bond experience with the minty one, Correct. I think. And yeah. I said how strong it was. Right? Sure. This is called Snake Brand Prickly, Prickly Heat. Heat. Original cooling powder. Classic. It's, it's classic. It looks Asian. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, it I, we'll, looks... get, we'll give it a gozies here on the stage. On the, oh. on the show. Oh, where are you going to put it? Where do you think I'm going to put it? I'm going to put it. Look, if you're watching the video show, you can, you can actually see this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and uh, uh, throw, a, throw a quick dollop on the danglers um, just to test this out live on air. I don't know how bad this is going to be, but um, Homeboy said that's this probably, was. That's a lot, huh? Right. This is a dollop. Can you see this at home? This is a dollar. That's a lot. Okay. No. If you're, if you're putting something on your ball sack, this is how much you want to use. Now, if you're doing cocaine, this is way too much to pour out. Depending. Um, Going to be real with you. That is, that is I can crossed smell it from into here. my navel. I can smell it from here. Passages. And it is, it is strong. Um, I don't uh. know what this is going to do, but uh, we're going to find out here. Just a, a quick sec, because it's warm in, in, in North Carolina right now. It is probably, what, 96 today? Mm-hmm. Something to that effect. So we'll find out, uh, Rick Abend, how just how cooling this is. That is kicked in Let quite me see. fast. Let me um, see it. Was not expecting that. Reach across the aisle. have a lot aisle. of handshakes and high fives to everybody working, too, behind the scenes right after this. Whew. Uh... My goodness, that is... Across the aisle. That is... Um, Off the line. Oh! Yep. yep. Very ah, Asian. Very, very Asian. Very I love Asian. that packaging, though. The packaging is nice, isn't it? Gosh, I might empty this out and make a little flower pot. <laughs> My God. That is quickly creeping up on me. Like Santa uh, uh, up a chimney on fucking December 25th. That is really going up the old gerbil catwalk right now. Um, Huh. I, a lot of emotions. Um, Is it that bad? Or are you- no, it's, uh, it, it's, it's almost numbing. It's gone past the cooling process. It's and, all over your, your well, hand. Well, I mean, obviously it's all over my hand because my how hand was that, on my dick. How does that feel on the hand? You don't, you don't ever feel it on the hand. Okay. I don't know why. Um, it's specially right. so, formulated <laughs> for only... Right now, it's as if someone is taking a blowtorch to my scrotum and taint area. and uh, A blowtorch? Yeah, it's hot and cold where you're like, oh, man. I feel like almost very post-surgery Lance Armstrong where I can't feel one of my nuts. Um, there, there is a ball there. I don't know which one, though. That's how isolating this is right now. But... Uh, 
Whew. Uh, I think it's, look, I think it's like the other gold bond where if you get used to it, you get used to it. Sure, it's, it's just very, whatever you Maybe because I'm wearing the Karate Kid t-shirt today. I'm getting the whole Karate Kid vibe. Uh-huh. I was going to give them the revolutionary figure of the day because they've brought back that show to epic levels. But I, I started immediately miyagi my hands as if that was going to do something to my scrotum, which is not. Um, at this point, I'd have to wash my full dick off in the sink um, to get rid of this, this it feeling. It won't and, just like dissipate? No, I think it would be like uh, in those hot pepper challenges. Mm-hmm. Where probably adding water would be the worst thing at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to put um, some milk on it maybe. This... Rick Abend. Um, there you he, go, buddy. He said he did it on deployment in the Philippines. Uh, that's, some, that's a lot stronger heat um, than inside of a, a television studio. But uh, whew, I am really flying right now. I am. Yeah, is it getting you high maybe a little bit? I don't know. There's so many emotions right now going on in my mind. It's like, well, do I, we like do, I'm flooded back. Did we do back. Lead by an Iron? Um, yeah, yeah, Summer sponsor. Swayze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. they made you a little ladies one. They Summer made Swayze. me one ladies. I don't know if it's going to be available. It should be, and a tank top would be sweet. I don't know if it is. Um, but this is a, 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 the Buttersoft Lady Tea, mm. Lead by Iron. Go to leadbyiron.com and get these summer Swayze teas. They sold out in like a half hour, so we put a new batch up. Oh, oh. Right now. Yeah, they did. No, they're, oh, they did. Okay, they're back. okay. They're back. Because everybody was like, yo, that's the things. dopest shirt of all yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. It's the most comfortable shirt I've ever had in my life, and it's awesome. Go to leadbyiron.com, L E D B Y I R O N.com. Get the summer Swayze teas. They're back and in stock. And uh, yeah, they made you a little lady one, which is awesome. Uh, I fucking love those guys. A little lady. Yeah. Because that's what I am. A they were the little for lady. Gunnar Peterson too, man. Those guys fucking rule the free world. Um, it's all first responders too. So like, just know you're probably helping somebody too. Uh, this is, whew. Oh boy. Man, it feels like North Korea down there. Like Maybe I'm, like, wait, I mean. I'm, I'm afraid. It seems like a good little pick me up, wake you up. Like you're definitely like yeah. got some pep. I'll put, I'll some put it. Some real pep. I'll put it this way. If I did heart, like real cocaine. Versus this, um, it, Coke wouldn't replicate the feeling right, I have right. of this right now. Yeah, yeah. So, if you're out there and you're and maybe you're addicted to Coke, uh, that, this is one way to get off it. Everything you, every time you think about doing a line, just take a dollop of this and splash it on your taint. Um, let that really sink in. Did you hear about Beth, dog, Beth. the bounty hunter? Oh yeah, R.I.P. Why is that so sad? seems sad to me she was on tv for like 15 years so like and they were i think that's what's sad about it is they seem like so perfect yeah 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 for each other and so in love and yeah i think that's the sad part about it Uh, yeah with uh with it's weird she died of throat cancer i think it was lung stage four yeah yeah lung Uh, oh is there a difference between lung and throat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, isn't, isn't your lungs inside your throat? No. Okay. Your lungs are the... Really? Uh, I'm just saying. I mean, you know, you got to... Uh, Am I fucking on glue? What are you talking about? Well, I, uh, let's... So uh, this let's is the up. lungs right here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, they're, you... they're on the inside, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is... Thorax. The throat, yeah. Isn't that the thorax? Um, that's, uh, the mouth breather is, is what they call that. Again, indeed. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, a person of science. I'm not a man of the cloth. Okay. But, uh, I think they call that the old mouth breather breather. So, uh, cancer is what she had. She had some form of cancer. Oh, are we not? Oh, okay. Sorry, and I thought you were... you're right. It was throat cancer. Yeah. Oh, you were right. Yeah, I know, Jesse. Oh, I know. oh, oh. I know. I thought it was lung cancer. Uh, so she had been diagnosed with stage two throat cancer back in 2017. So uh, she was declared cancer free. And then a year later, the cancer returned. And uh, uh, you were right when you said throat. Um, so maybe the audience will forget that. But uh, I won't. I definitely won't. Uh, either way, she was on TV for like 15 years. And I think that's what makes it so sad. And they used to rerun the shit out of Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh, yeah, and I over loved it. And over and over again. I, look, I, I was a gigantic fan when it first started. Oh, yes. But then afterwards, because they had a spinoff with like the kids and her, I didn't want to see her get fucked up. So like, I, didn't, I just stopped watching the show. 
Because there was always an element of like, man, isn't somebody going to punch her in the face? Because if I'm a hardcore criminal, right? Yeah. I'm all methed up. Like, that would be my biggest fear, I think, of like, oh, man, somebody's going to just punch my wife on meth. Yeah. So I kind of stopped watching for that reason. But I, I think that's why it's so sad is, you know, she was, I felt like on everywhere. If you went to a car dealership or oh, a yeah, dentist, yeah, yeah. there was always Dog the Bounty Hunter on. It was they something just filmed safe. filmed so much. Yeah, but also dangerous where it was like, all right, cool, man. I yeah, get yeah, into yeah. this. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was a weird one. That was a weird one. Uh, we got breaking news on the show. Right. Breaking news. What? Supreme Court uh, ruled that, uh, man, that you can't, you, the census question, you can't ask that, huh? You can't ask if they're a citizen. Yeah. Right? You can't ask if they're a United States citizen on the U.S. census. And um, it says, uh, and it was, it was a fucking conservative guy who flipped and said, uh, it seems like a contrived question. Does it? Just to ask if you live in the country that you're actually taking the census in? Well, yeah. What? Well, the, the whole idea, what, did you, what do you always say? That you just want to know how many people are here for tax Taxes, reasons. Taxes, yes. And if there's any question on the census that's going to prevent people from taking it, Look, if you're, Do you here, know what I mean? if you're here illegally anyways, yeah. you're, not, you're not taking the census. You're not doing it. Well, you're definitely not if there's a question on there of citizenship, right? Either way. Okay. Like, how many, how many illegals live in the country? Yeah. We have no idea. Yeah. 12 million is not, not right, Dan. Dan's off screen saying 12 million. It's not. Because they're undocumented, Dan. We don't have the fucking answer. And the census sure as fuck isn't going to get the answer. I can tell you that right now. So with this, this whole thing, like, what do you do anymore? What do you do with all this, this stupid shit where it's like you have all the, the, the illegal immigration that's going on. You can't, we can't pay for it as a nation, but you know, you're also like, oh no, give us your tired and poor and weak and all that shit. Well, who's going to pay for it? Cause it's, it's nobody that's actually bitching about it. So with the census, you're just trying to get an exact head count of how many people live in the country so you know how much to tax people to pay for health care, food, everything in this, this life in America. So I guess that's my thing. I'm just devil's advocate. If you really just want to know how many people, that's all you want to know, right? Right. So why do you need to know if they're citizens? B because if, if you're a United States citizen, your taxes are different than if you're... Than if you're not. Correct. Oh, okay. You don't get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're here illegally, you don't get taxed at all. Right. So there is no way to tax you. You have no but idea. But isn't the census just to see literally a head, get a head count? You can't. No. You'd have to tell everybody to line up in the streets and be right. like, all right, great. We're going one by one just like you're near kindergarten. Like, yeah. So to me, now that you have this, I, like the rest of it's all going to fall and crumble. All this other shit's going to crumble too. Right. And nobody has any fucking answers. We were watching that debate last night. And all they did was bring up the, the guy and, the, and the, the daughter who died, yeah. that, that photo. I'm reminded of a story. Yeah, it's pretty much all they said. Pretty much all they said. The whole time. Not one single person had a solution or an answer. No. They would just get really passionate about something and like raise up and raise their voice and talk about leadership and yeah. <laughs> change. Um, but I, I don't think I heard one uh, actual solution. N nothing. Yeah. You know why? Because you don't know how to pay for it. Right. You don't know how to pay for it. You don't know how to stop it. The reason why you don't know how to pay for it is you don't know how many people are fucking living here. So you don't know what money or resources to dedicate. All you know is the, the border patrol is like, we're strained. We can't take care of all these people. Yeah. We can't do any of this shit because we don't have enough funding. Why don't you have enough funding? You don't have any people to tax to live there. Like, it's pretty goddamn simple. So this is going to, this to me, this decision that just came in right now, good luck. This is going to go on forever. Um, you know, people will bitch at Trump about wanting to build a wall. It, there, it's, it's some solution. It's a solution. Anything. Just, and last night we watched the debates, the de Democratic debates. Nothing. Nobody had one even iota of a solution. And we're just like, you got to do something, man. Or that's just, this is going to continue to happen. After this, though, I think you're fucking done with it. I don't, I don't see them doing anything. Do you? 
see them doing anything immigration wise or really trying to change things you'll never know how much to, to tax people no no we're what 20 trillion in debt or something crazy like that's going to keep skyrocketing china will own us completely outright by like 2050 because they're buying up they, they buy they own all of our debt right so what's what's to stop them from saying hey man we're not going to pay this anymore fuck you guys yeah i would if i were it's them coming yeah so until then we're just going to rage and I'm, i might even throw another dollop on the old balls here on the old uh, danglers, uh, just because just cause why not at this point, you know? Um, the other thing that I really wanted to get into with you here, Jabes, Jabraham Lincoln, um, is uh, the new horror films that are coming out. They keep getting more and more graphic and violent to the point where it's like, man, are we just going to see somebody get murdered live on screen? And I asked this to somebody, and they're like, oh, dude, haven't you seen, like, Faces of Death? Like, that's what that was. And I was like, oh, shit. You're right. Yeah, but those were real. Those were real people getting murdered. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. We're getting close to that in, in, like, horror movies and shit. What do you mean? I don't There's a thing with uh, It. So the new It Chapter 2 comes out. Uh-huh. They said there's a bloodbath scene that pushes horror to the brink of, like, pure fucking madness. Obviously, I'm going to go see it because they Obviously. said that. <laughs> like, come on. I'm definitely now going to go see this because I want to see how far you, you've took it. But mm-hmm. where do you go? Where do you go after that? Start killing a human, brother. Bring about the faces of death again. Start paying people to like, um, like commit suicide or something. I, I think, I think like you're, put a casting call that's out. Probably, yeah, that's probably like the, an underground thing that's going on on the dark web, right? Where it's just like, hey, if you offer yourself, I'll give your family two or three million dollars. Oh, God. Yeah, probably. Right? Yeah. Because you can get all kinds of shit. Women's socks. Uh, old uh, party balloons. Mm-hmm. From like a child's birthday party where they, yeah, you know. Where they used them as water balloons and they're like broken and like the pieces. Yeah. All in the grass. Like send it to me. Yeah. I want to smell that. With pieces of grass in it. Yeah. Yeah. Where you're like, man, that's really. Yeah. Well. Explicit. Anything you can think of, there's someone else that is thinking about the same thing. So if you could pay for something to be filmed and sent to you, what would it be? Something fucked up. What? Nothing. What are you talking about? There's nothing? That I could pay someone yeah. to film. Yeah. Mm-mm. No? No. Not there's... No, you can go. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I just want... I... I just you want to just know want to know if there's something fucked up that I want somebody to film and send to me. Yeah. What's yours? Um, I think it would be somebody correctly using an Apple remote for like six hours straight. Correctly using it? Yes. So you have to log in. So what I do is I give you this. I give you my Apple TV, but it's stripped, right? There's 180 apps on there, okay? So I want you to go through every app re-enter your email and your username and you can't fuck it up like you can't fuck up one of these apps right and you just have to turn it on so i want to see somebody go through every single app unstripped enter in my full email address oh, yeah. username never fuck it up that's then, a lot of people's like nightmare <laughs> right but this is, is like- what i want filmed and sent to me where if you're trying to think of things that would make you happiest in this world watching that because kids watch uh video games all the time and they pay for it on twitch Mm -hmm. all they do is they sit there and watch other kids play video games Mm -hmm. not even better than them sometimes just kind of shitty where you're just like hey man why are you watching that it's in there another kid playing this video game that you have but in their defense in their defense i watch people buying houses as i'm buying a house um i watch people cook food yeah. So Just what, at their house. Why did you look at me like that was the most fucked up question I'd ever asked? Like, maybe you pay oh, like Oh, because I don't know. Because it was like something. coming off this like horror movie, like no. paying people to commit suicide. And then you're like, what's the most fucked up thing what's that you want? Most, like, so it was just like an Apple a weird... remote for six hours. Yeah. Because that's, to me, that's super fucked up. Like that tiny little Apple remote just for six hours. No mistakes. So if you make a mistake... You have to start all over again. Uh, go the full six and re-enter make you in cringe, your username yeah. and password. Right. 
over and over and over again until you get it right. And the last step of it is to go to Netflix and fast forward two, two, two minutes and just get it right on the nose. <laughs> Use an Apple remote and just fast forward wow. two minutes and get it right on the nose so you don't miss it and have to go back. Oh, uh, uh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, 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 fuck. fuck. I'm, 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 I missed it. Right. Uh, again, I missed it. That's all I do all day long where it's like, how many times have I called out to you and said, hey, let me show you this. This is awesome. This is amazing. Let me uh, 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 go uh, and get that. Nope. End up watching 12 minutes of the same program I had just watched to show you a 10 second clip because I like, can't use that goddamn remote. And that's what I'd pay top dollar for. I right. want to see that happen. Okay. For six hours. Yours that sounds be like a nightmare. Your, yours would have to be something in in the cooking world, or would yeah. you like to see all the Bourdain's footage edited together? I want to, I like for you as far as fucked up. I think it would be hilarious to see every Anthony Bourdain episode, but the shit that didn't make it and when he was screaming at people. Oh my god, I would love it because you know he I would probably love screamed it. at his cast and crew. Here's what I would want. So like I told you, there's For a hours. moment uh, when he's done with the interview, like when it's gone south and he's over it, he says, let's go to the wide. Mm -hmm. And the people, the, the guest doesn't know what that means, but his crew all means that means he's done. He doesn't want to do this anymore. They're going to set up for the wide and just be done. Right. right? So I want to see like the five minutes before and see it just disintegrate or just get to the point where like what it what it is that makes him say let's go to the wide yeah because he just interrupt he'll like inter interrupt them and just be like going to the wide like mm -hmm. just be done with it so wouldn't you want to see that footage yeah like, i would what love he really to said yeah i would love did. to i have a feeling i know what it is what? they show because they they showed one portion of it uh with a tuna sandwich he was trying to get his tuna sandwich somewhere and it was his favorite tuna sandwich oh, yes, in yes. the entire world. And he goes, look, I don't care what you have to do. Get me this fucking tuna sandwich from this one weird Asian place, wherever they were. Yeah, yeah, that he always would go to and it was always there. And then he went there yes. and it wasn't there. Yep. And production, and he's yelling at production. And he's like, what the Lost fuck is the problem? You can't fucking find me this thing in all of blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 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 That's and then he got it and they were like, <laughs> they took it from this store, put it in the packaging and like totally outed his whole production oh, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like, it's not even right. Nope. But I'm going to eat it. Yeah. Imagine just having six to eight hours of Bourdain footage of being like, hey man, what the fuck are we doing here? You know? Like that would be, yeah, that would be pretty hilarious. Yeah. I'd sit down and watch that and just oh, laugh yeah. for well, hours. Well, they have one behind the scenes. They didn't go too much into like his blow ups, mm -hmm. but they do have a behind the scenes show in that last season when he died. So they do have a behind the scenes cut together. And uh, it's a lot of that. Okay. And they're like, he wasn't mean. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he he was particular. He wanted things the way he was. Sure, and I can understand that. I'm sure you can. But if you could pay f money for that footage, that's probably what you'd do. You yeah, know? definitely. Yeah, I would want that. I can't think of anything. I don't. I can't think of anything else fucked up that I would want. I don't know. Really? No. Man, I could go through a laundry list of just weird things that I'd like people to do and then send it in. Okay. I mean, I, it, yeah. Again, the Apple remote is number one. Where it's just sure. Like, yeah. Um, I want to see. I want to see a direct TV customer service rep call in and get to, to get to a human in under twelve minutes. You want someone to call direct TV yep. and get to? Oh. Yeah, but who works there? Um, and and the reason why I bring this up specifically. I, we had a problem with Bank of America recently. Uh, D'Anthony is sitting behind camera. Um, I had a few problems with Bank of America. Problem is, it's like the cell phone shit we were talking about earlier. You're pretty much down to two banks at this point. You're down to Bank of America or Wells Fargo, mm -hmm. depending upon where you live. So I, I'm, Wells Fargo was so shitty that I was resigned with the fact that I was going to be with Bank of America the rest of my life and there was nothing I could do about it. Mm -hmm. um, 
their customer service trying to get a hold of them, especially like small, because they're always like, oh, we have small business banking. It's great. You can get right through. Mm-hmm, <laughs> and the commercials are like no. somebody calling like Hi, Mr. the Patterson. guy's on his off day. How are you? Yeah. Are you okay? Do you need help with your, mm-hmm. you know, a reverse cowboy? Do you need help getting, you know, fucking spread eagle jacked? Yeah, I do. Uh, Bank of America. The problem is you never do that for me. And I was on the phone. There was a breaking point one day where I completely lost it because it, it eats up half my day with like customer service. Right. It was a breaking point where I was on hold for an hour and 20 minutes with Bank of America, small business, customer service. And it just kept da 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 That same fucking song they play over and over again. Mm -hmm. And you can hear it. Like you, you, you're, you do sound. You can hear it. That little click. Click. And then it, Mm -hmm. and it's in that click. That, that it gives you this hope inside your heart that somebody's going to answer and you're like, oh, Jewel, no, like it's good. Julia right. or Julia, is somebody there? Nope. It's just that song repeating again oh, for yeah. another three minutes. Thank you for holding. So I was like, I, the level of anger that I was at that day was to the point of I was like, all right, the guy who had fucking given me this account and said, sir, you'll have no problem setting this up on your own at home. Just take it on home and we'll send you everything in a box. You know, send all your shit in a box and then just call in. We'll hook it up. So in my mind, I'm on the phone. It's I'm at the 120 mark. I'm on Twitter. And since I'm verified and all that bullshit, um, I'm, I'm literally documenting what's happening with, with this. And everybody's dying laughing because I'm like, man, I've thought about 68 ways to kill myself inside my house right now for the Bank of America shit or whatever. And then... What they do if you're verified is they send you a private message and they're like, sir, we're sorry you're having problems. Could you DM us personally and we'll take care of this right away? They didn't. So I did. Right. And it was like another 26 minute gap and I was like, fuck this. I charged up my laptop because I was using a desktop at the office. I charged up my laptop. I had the phone and I had that charging at the same time. So what I did was unplugged it, unplugged the laptop Drove with the laptop up and the phone still going to the bank to the fucking branch, went in (laughs) and asked for the manager. And I said, hey, man, remember when you hooked me up with all this shit and you said it was going to be soups easy? I was on an hour 28 by the time I got to the bank. You're so fucking ridiculous. Wait, wait, on speaker. And I and I just and I put that there and I brought my laptop in. And I put both of them on his desk and I go, so here's what I'm going to do because you work here. And he goes, oh my God, sir, I'm so sorry. I'm so embarrassed by all this shit or whatever. And I go, here's what I'm going to do because you work here is I'm going to leave this on your desk because I want you to hear the same song that I've been listening to for an hour and 28 minutes. You said this is so easy. So I want you to call your person. You can use my computer. It's already opened and my account is up. You work here. You sold me on this, you dumb son of a bitch. I want to see you do it. And he was like, oh, uh, yeah, is this real? And I was like, I'm not going anywhere. And I haven't been because this this fucked my whole day. So I'm here. Let's do it, right? And so he tries to call this motherfuckers on the phone. Wait, oh, wait, wait. yeah. Yeah. 36 minutes. He works at the branch. He's a manager. He couldn't get their own customer service on the phone. Finally breaks through. The two of us are huddled next to each other behind his tiny desk, typing in the information to hook up the account, right? This is just to connect the account. We do it together. Wait, D- Dan was doing this with you? No, no, oh, no. Okay, Dan was so not, another. This was me by myself. This was the last one. Got it. We finally do this together after 36 minutes. And he was like, I'm sorry, sir. I'm still having the same problems. And I go, yeah. But imagine if I hadn't come in and I just held up the phone. Da, 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 da. Two hours and four minutes I'm now on with Bank of America. No one answered. And I go, so next time you think about telling people to sign up for a small business and then it's so easy to hook up mm-hmm. once you get it home. Just know this was two hours and four minutes of a human's life that I couldn't get back. I was like, most people aren't even in labor for two hours and four minutes. I, I could have had a fucking baby in that time, maybe even twins. <laughs> the, and the point that I was on the phone to when I actually gave birth to this new account. 
And they were just like, oh my gosh. To this day, because I still have to see this dude. He yeah. laughs about it and he goes, man, you remember that day you came in? Like, yeah. how fucking crazy was that? And so I go, crazy. you know what's even crazier? That I lived it. And yeah. like, like, I'm still alive to talk about it. I laugh because it's just, you guys, it's all the time. What? That. With everything. What do you mean? <laughs> that kind of shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With you. Oh, yeah. All, all the time. All the time. That's how you handle and deal with Uber, Uber, Dan, Dan's selling, saying Uber. What happened with Uber? Oh, this is the best. Every time, so, I, and, and I've been doing this with Dan. I was like, hey, Dan, man, why don't you use my phone and call an Uber? Just, just get an Uber over here. Every time the driver never shows up and they can't, they cancel the ride and like never is heard from again. Is it because your rating sucks? That's what I thought, right? So I was like, man, what is my rating? It actually wasn't that as bad as I thought it was. It was a 4.88. Um, which is, is that bad? No, no, it's not bad, right? So I, that's what I thought it was. Dan and I have traveled to 30 different cities together at this point. Not one single time have we been able to get Uber or, or anything And I always else. wonder, like, is it really that it doesn't work for you or is it because you are so ready for it not to work? And I wonder if that's what, like, that's what I always wonder about you. I'm like, are you already in your mind when you're calling and you're putting that energy out there of just like, this isn't going to work. Nothing fucking ever works, blah, blah, blah. And then it doesn't. Or is it really just never working for you? I can't, I don't know the answer to that. And I don't know if we ever will, right? I, I, think, I think there's a two word answer for all of it. And it's simulated Because I have no problem with Uber, right? I think it's simulated world. I have no problem. I don't know. I do. I think it's simulated world. And I think whatever the character is. Everybody's got weird quirks, right? Who's controlling all the shit. And I think whatever the character is, is being like, man, you know what would really get him today is another mystery. Because he always gets gotten. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because getting this guy. Yeah. I, and I have no explanation for it other than simulated world. And we were. If we it did is it, a simulated world, you need to change your character. I can't because I can't get outside of this dimension. But you need to change your mindset and your character can't so do it. that. Somebody else is controlling They it. will start making things work for you because you did something to somebody at some point in your simulated world or whatever that they're not they're not and never gonna work for you i think it's the guy who's running it like the sim guy is just like oh man that, that would be a like a fun fucked up thing to do you know i had this conversation in san antonio with somebody too about the sim world and they were this guy flat out it was like this old sound engineer <laughs> doing audio book and you know you get to hang out you're spending 10, 13 hours a day with these people and you get to hang out with them. And uh, I was joking around about the sim world and he goes, oh yeah, I fully fucking believe it. And I was like, yeah, I, I'm starting to too, my man. I'm starting to too. Uh, we're going to get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we, Jabes? We shall. Yeah. There's a reason I'm dressed like this. Um, the old karate kid, the old uh, Daniel son. Got the t-shirt, got the bandana on. Um, a, bu a buddy of mine who just randomly popped up from high school. It was just like, Hey man, I'm in the new karate kid. Check me out on season two on YouTube. And I was just like, what? I, I didn't, I wasn't even, I didn't know he was an actor to be honest with you. I didn't um, know there was a season one. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's two seasons now. Okay. And, um, and it's huge. It's their most watched series. So like, it'll probably go for like five or six seasons to be honest with you. And, uh, we were talking to Jamie, uh, our producer and he said he, he watched it and loved it well I flipped on this episode just to see my buddy and uh, and it wasn't bad it, it, it was pretty fucking good but I'm sure those guys the reason why I'm saying revolutionary figure of the day I'm sure those guys looked back at that movie because it was so famous it was so big and then they didn't really do anything after that and they probably were thinking like fuck man I'll probably I'll never do anything again and then bring bring 35 years later Hey, would I you know. guys like to reboot The Karate Kid and make it into a TV show? Um, yeah, I'd love to. Like, what a dream that is. Probably like Stephanie Tanner coming back from Full House, you know? Oh, yeah. She was like, yo, we're, are we doing this again? I would love to. I need that in my life right Let's now. Let's get wet. Let's get wet. So uh, I watched Stephanie a little bit Stephanie Tanner of it. gets wet. Too. What's that? Oh, yeah. She gets loose. Yeah, she's, she, uh, she grew up. Um, she really grew up. No, I mean, she parties hard. 
I don't know if she still does that anymore, but yeah. I think there was something about it might. Oh yeah, it might they, be a blind item, but I think crazy, they. She kind of relapsed a little bit after the show. There was a crazy uh, situation with her and her her now ex husband. Yes. And drugs. Where they were like ghetto as shit. It was something fucking crazy. Right. That's all I know. Um, but yeah, because you live get, your life, you never think you're gonna get the call, right? Yeah. So you get the call and you have to be like, okay, guy, yeah. we've been doing this ghetto ass white trash shit. Like yep. I need you to go. Yeah. Cause I'm going to like get back into my fucking I'm gonna be Stephanie shit. Tanner I'm going to get back into my shit now. Yeah. But this was fun. But so all these guys, and they even brought back, uh, uh, who's the sensei? Sensei John Kreese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they brought him back. He looks great. Those guys look great. And the, the show is, um, is, okay. is remarkably pretty fucking good and uh if youtube continues on this path with good tv series that could be mega someday but uh we'll see so far they've got that one i really don't dig anything else i've ever seen on there because they're always like would you like to upgrade to premium and i'm like what else do you have Why? besides yeah. this yeah and they're like oh you can listen to music videos with your phone closed in your pocket at the gym it's like in what fucking world do i want to connect those dots Right. There isn't one. So I can just go to Apple Music, bro, and just turn my shit on. Like, I don't need to put a music video playing in my pocket in the background or. Is that how it. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what their whole stitch is. But uh, either way, congrats and congrats to my buddy. That was huge. Uh, they shoot it in Georgia. I'm from Georgia. So it was a high school friend, and uh, a lot of people are kind of dabbling in it of like, oh man, I want to be an extra, kind of get like two or three lines and something. Yeah. And that's. That's awesome. So I was stoked when that popped up on my feed. Sweet. Yeah. Good for him. Uh, Jabes, simulated world. I mean, it's the only explanation for all um, your... And I do want to give it one last final update before we go off air. The snake brand, Prickly Heat uh, Ricka Ben, it has settled in nicely to my genitalia. And it was a rough start, huh? Really, really rough start. Gosh, didn't know I didn't if I'd know. be able to recover. Yeah. But I'm going to be realsies with you. If I, if I do this two or three more times... I'm going to build up a tolerance, and this uh, could be the way to go, my man. So I want to appreciate you and your magic Asian powder. Really love it. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.